Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so this war oh boy it's good war Archangel put like so much work in this and we kind of lost it in the end so let's just so it's just starting and we are taking like part 6 so this fight <laughs> it's going to be a quite tricky and bit good Okay, let's see what happens over here. So, it's Archangel and it's going to be uh, Kingpin. So, Kingpin is not that difficult for an Archangel. So, he was using suicides also. What I have to do is just end the combo with a medium and... Here, I've got a Nero on him. And I can stun him at one point. But, what mistake I did is that it was a strike back. He's almost dead, you can see over here. And like one or two bleeds onto him and this headbutt took like 50% of my health in a chunk and I was like what did just happen with me I thought that I might go to like 40% or max to max I will go to like 30 to 35% but it took me to 14% that headbutt took like 50% of my health and I was like oh god <laughs> oh, but I didn't die so that's good I don't want to give a kill in the starting of the war so okay so next fight it's captain oh it's black widow the new one deadly origin so what I have to do is get him up a bit so that I can take this fight so I thought that I have to use him to the rest of the fights in the next section so let's put like two of these health balls might work quite good then I have to take a mix master cog I should have boosted myself from the starting but I didn't and I don't know what for so that's my bad and he was also using a suicide so what I have to do is just take like some block hits I got like three of these poison onto her and like one or two heavy the fight would be done in like nine hits and that is the quite good thing that I love about Archangel so minutes into the fight the fight is done she's totally dead I'm pretty happy with that so we go into the next and it's going to be a mix master cork for us so mix master cork we have taken so many times so if you all know that I didn't upload the last video last war video so what happened at that point I was supposed to record all the boss section also but I forgot to record that and I think I just did like one fight of that so I didn't do that and in that there was like a 6 star rank 2 cork what I have to take and he was half health because someone in my team went through it and I just have to do like a half health cork takedown with a doctor doom boosted doctor doom full health maxed out it was quite a simple fight for me but what I did I died on that fight uh, that was like way bad for me I'll try to put that a clip in the end but if not then I'll put it in the next video you might all see that that I, how I died what mistakes I made are there so from that fight I took this fight quite good this fight and this is quite stacked cork it's 6 star rank 2 awaken and quite tricky fight because it's mix master some point I forgot about mix master I go for like like this over here I went for a full combo and that was bad he could have just striked me straight away but it's good he didn't uh, I'm just trying to get like my mediums to connect and he all like always evades in the next combo I start so over here you can see because I have ended my combo with that light so that's bad I'm just trying to do is like put my incinerates as much as I can before that shields comes up because in that way I can put like my incinerates damage onto him and that's good I'm just trying to put like my sv1 just to get rid of all of the shields and take some power back so that I can do this fight way easily I'm not I'm just trying to not give him any crowd excitements and trying to take hit, like take that prowls down as fast as I can don't want, don't want them to stack up over here the crowd excitement is up I lost my what it say invulnerability boost and like 6 prowls at this point what I have to do is go for 
and sp3 but one mistake that i did i should have just gone for one more hit because the one shield is still left and this sp3 is going to damage one percent of his health <laughs> that is bad just one just one i should have gone i don't know why okay i did like a good uh, good combo here uh, I thought that I had like medium, medium and all, but that was not, I did like a good combo over there, so that was good. Over here at this point, if he would have thrown one SP1, I would be dead, but I didn't, that, like, he didn't throw it, and that was a good part of it. That worked quite well for me, so we have to run through second section. So second section, we are just gonna go and take this. Oh what's oh, EMP modification and it's going to be uh, Mysterio so Mysterio not that difficult fight in this I have to take it with Quake so one thing is quite bad because he is in concussion like we cannot do like cannot decrease his ability accuracy so no concussion so that if he didn't throw a special attack I'm gonna get some poisons so what I'm gonna try and do over here just take him to one bar of his health so that I can go and take that bar out so that might help me but that was a bad idea a shitty idea <laughs> I should have go should not gone for that and that would be quite good for me over here and it's gonna throw like three shocks onto me gonna be some hard of the, I don't like these kind of damage to quake I just like to play a pure quake no damage onto me full yellow bar and that's the speciality while like playing quake I thought to do that thing again but then I thought no it's stupid idea I have to drop that out I have to go and see if that poison is gonna be up it's gonna be up it's gonna do some amount of damage the shocks did like 60 uh, like not 60 40 percent of the damage so if that's gonna take like 20% of my health, I'm okay with that. Let it take it. But it didn't came up. And I don't know what for. But we won the fight straight away. I'm pretty happy just quaking it fast and fast. Mysterious are always an aggressive opponent. So we have to be quite like good on quake. Just quaking him out. So that's going to be good. So in the next section, we're gonna take path 1. It's blade. And the next fight is going to be Elsa Bloodstone. So I have my Archangel just for like section 1, 2 fights, section 2, 2 fights and boss section will go with Quake and Doctor Doom. But I didn't use Quake that much and boss section also Archangel did the rest of the work for me. So let's go in and it's a simple fight, not that much difficult just look towards not dexting that much because i think blade is a stomach act. if it's not then it's my bad if it is it i think he is it he can be i think so so let's see what happens oh fight was done now oh, let's see what happens i said and the fight was easily done we did like six neuros on to him and the fight was like way easily done so let's go oh we have to go to the next fight but i didn't have energy so i waited up and what happens someone else took that fight and there was like Iron Man Infinity War as like node on like we have four at lights two mediums two heavies that, that node on a buffet node and he took like so much kills from our side I thought to go it with Doctor Doom but I would, didn't go for that I didn't have like so many of the boost or not boost I'm boosted at this point I'm like 12% of mystic attack, 200% of mystic power gain, some health and some attack boost. What I'm gonna try is over here, just get him down, get him solo but that's not gonna happen over here. He is quite tricky. What I have to do is just to hit him so that he, that reverberation is off so I hit him at that point so I don't get any damage. I'm gonna do that simple thing. Just pairing him as much as I can, just trying to take out his P once. My bad was like, for me, this why fight was not up for me. I have to go and do some other fights. Like, I have to take Doom, the next opponent over here, and one more would be uh, Spider Ham. But, uh, I 
have to take it because no one had some good counter for him so uh, I didn't like that thing but I have to take it because it's my alliance I have to do this for us so till now fight is going quite good we are low on health we took like some hits not that bigger issue for me the reverberation damage is not that coming towards me what I have to do is wait how does we choose from him that should be a plan for me but what I did was bad because he gets like indestructible charges after sp3 so what happens I can trigger reverberation while touching him but I'm not gonna get any damage back from that because he don't take any damage so if he don't take any damage no damage back towards me that's the only point that's the only way to play this fight over here because if I had Mr. Fantastic in my team the fight would be like way easy than any other thing but I didn't had uh, I lost like so much amount of health over here you can see I'm just trying to get this fight done as simply as fast <laughs> but I'm trying to I'm trying to parry him but that was not the idea because he's getting so much of fire but throwing an sp3 pairing before it that's the idea over here i think that ind indestructible charge was up he didn't take any damage and that was the thing i hated about that fight this fight <laughs> so i'm just gonna try and throw my sp1 from the back so that i don't take that much amount of damage because that rays are non-contact and i don't do that much amount of damage from that that's the thing I'm just gonna try and not parry him that much because I'm like 1% of my HP now go for an SP2 take him to his SP2 because incinerate's gonna take in and take some that I changed my plan after like one or two SPs in and just gonna try and do that oh here we are like 1% of our HP I'm just gonna <laughs> take so much just like quick <laughs> Oh, uh, we parried him just one percent of our health. I just want to go for an SP1 over here, and I went for it. Some damage from reverberation comes up, but that all non contact just triggered that good. But he's like 40 percent, and one mistake caught me up. Was bad, and this update that came up with Kabam was so good, but the next day that other update games up and this all is resolved but this was so bad we didn't knew who was on that some path we have to check or what is happening with that okay this time I was looking towards something else and don't know how I clicked fight and the moment I did fight I knew I was screwed I was totally screwed this fight was dead for me I still try to go with like take that reverberation down as fast as I can because in that case I can just get my concussion up and oh we took like so much beating over here and we are dead at this point one more sp1 and we are dead so plan was over here just to go with like take the reverberation down take that concussion up so that after that reverberation never comes up so that he don't get that much amount of power you have to armor break him most of the thing we have. so this is quite a tricky way out to play quake against him and this point I also don't remember the perfect way so I'm not gonna say anything about that so what I have to do I have to take the next fight also with doom so I just heal him up a bit one more level 3 heat potion would be good I should have revived him first but this quick kill was not supposed to be the kill. Till now this fight was good for me because I did like almost 60% of his health down with like me having a 40% of my health. This fight was good. I think that it was not that bad. I think that this would be bad for me. If I had Mr. Fantastic, this fight would be like cake for me. Then I changed my plan again, took him to SP2 and take that reverberation down with my SP1 so that in that case I don't take that much amount of damage and go for SP2s 
and that is good. At this point, I thought he might go to an HP3 because three incinerates in a row, so that would be bad. Uh, <laughs> but it didn't go for like that, and that was quite good. So, just trying to take that reverberation down. Took some damage over here, but not that much difficult, not that much issue for me. Just want to go with an HP2 from his side, but he went like, I have go with one another SP1. I don't want, like, I want to throw that fast, as fast as I can. I just want to go with, like, SP2 one more time. This fight would be easily done. I'm out and SP2 now. That reverberation is up. We are on to some good amount of potions, like, that aura was up. That was quite good. We go for an SP2. I was unblockable and all that can, like, that was all non-contact hits for me. So, if the reverberation was up, I don't care, revolution is not up, no, it's, it's quite simple, not any issue for me. Over here I see the nodes, the main thing I was seeing was hunter lock over here. I thought my doom is having quite a good health, boost are still on, I had like some good amount of mystic boost. So why not doom vs doom? Doom vs doom is quite classic and good matchup for us. Every time I try to do it with Doom vs Doom, I'm pretty happy. I can do Doom vs Doom every time. So, this fight, not that much difficult. I was thinking that if this person was using suicides, I'll be pretty happy to take it. But he wasn't, so that was bad. So what I have to do, just take some parries, get that charges up for me, so that I can dex freely. And that is the only plan over here. I think I go for SP3 three, like 3 times I think so and I took some sh so much so much hits <laughs> some bad hits that was not supposed to be like that this time I was thinking not to go with that aura up so that might he resist after that some sun and was not would be up so that might be bad but I don't think that happens I've never done that with the aura so I don't know. The rest I know is like putting my SP2 or SP1 when he is having a good of these auras up. So that is bad. So I'm seeing that it's hunter lock every time now because I al always die on this fight just doing that. I was way close just to get this SP in that aura so that I can have two furies but just nick of a second and we lost that aura so we have to go one more sp and he's getting so much less power after sp1 because it's four sp1 i think so and what i have to do is not let him throw any any other sp so that i can go for another sp3 i'm just trying to go for another sp3 to steal some power the aura was almost dead what we have to do is go for another sp3 i went for it we have two furies now but he has so much less power. I have to push him towards like SP2 now, but he's getting so much less power, so that was bad. I'm just trying to do is see that hunter lock is up. I have to go with like my SP in rotations, like SP2, SP1s, and all. I don't know why my theories were like. All gone, nullified, whatsoever you say. Oh, okay, over here. Let's see it perfectly. I have thrown an SP1. And he's almost dead. What I do, go for another SP1. What I have to do is run towards him, go for a heavy. And he caught me. That's the way I die on this fight always on this node always then I thought I'm <laughs> so such a big idiot I have to go like one more parry or like two more parries the fight would be done I was like oh, what did I just do over there but we went in with Archangel and the fight was easily done so the next fight is going to be Spider Ham. So Spider Ham is a stubborn character. He can evade. 
and he has so much of power gain over here 200 percent power gain special to bias special to his unblockable and one or two nodes pretty bad defensive place i would not go with him over here so what i have to do simple go with archangel take some hits go with poisons nero up fight is almost done and he was pretty good at throwing these uh, all SP's ones and all he was at one point at SP2 but he didn't throw it and that's what I love about him so I was thinking that he might put like power stings on to me but Archangel is good he didn't like he was good with me he didn't throw any like I don't know why he was unblockable is that any other his ability I don't know if it is 10 min comment section I do not know about that ability because I think that's like apocalypse energy, but he's a science character. He's not a mutant that he's going to be a horseman. So let's see. And we finish the fight off with like this only. Just go one more, two more heavies, and he's near to his SP2. At this point, if he threw it in SP2, I would be dead. But he would be dead faster than me because he was almost near to it. And the fight was easily done. So going to be all this fervor and. I think I have done a mistake and put like one more kill for that quick so thanks for watching and until then see you next time